Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to include a check mark somewhere in your spreadsheet. Good news is there's loads of ways of doing this in Excel. The first method only works in Excel 365. So select your cells, go to insert, and then in the controls group, click on this checkbox button, get these little boxes in each of the cells. And all you have to do is click on a cell or click in a box to get the check mark. Okay, so if you haven't got Excel 365, that's not gonna work. So what you could do is select all of the cells that you potentially want a check mark in, and then change your font. Now, I would change it to Wingdings 2. And then if you want to tick, use Shift P, so a capital P in the cell. And if you did want a cross, it's Shift O, so a capital O. And then once you've got it in one cell, you can just copy and paste it or continue to use Shift P. Now, if that doesn't work for whatever reason, you can insert a symbol within a cell. So you select your cell, you go to Insert, then to Symbol over on the right here. And then you want to look for the Wingdings font. And then all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom of the list and there is a check mark or you can insert a check mark within a box that's that option there you can see you've also got crosses so once it's in one cell you can then copy and paste it into other cells now let's look at some other methods here i'm comparing budget with actual and i want to tick if the account is within budget so what i'm going to do is a little formula here budget minus actual and you can see it gives me a negative number if the account is over budget. So what I can do is apply conditional formatting to these numbers. So with the number selected, I go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Icon Sets. Now, then go down to More Rules, and you need to make sure Format Style is Icon Sets. And then under Icon Styles, look for this selection here, cross exclamation mark and a tick. Now your next step is to change both of these types to number. And then you want to tick when the value is greater than or equal to zero. You don't want an exclamation mark, so change that to no cell icon. And you want a cross when it's less than zero, and that'll already be set. Then what you want to do is tick this option, show icon only, and click on OK. And you get a cross and a tick. If you don't want the cross, you just want the tick. With the cell still selected, go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, select the rule, edit the rule, and then you can say No Cell Icon for this last option here. And then you just get your ticks. Now, one other option that you might find useful is to use an if statement to return a tick or a cross. So with the if, we're going to say, is the actual amount spent less than or equal to the budget, comma. If so, we want a tick and we can return a tick using the character function, C-H-A-R, and the number for the tick is 252, comma, value of false. Now you could just return an empty cell if you wanted to, or if you want a cross, it's character 251. Now it doesn't look like a tick at the moment. You have to change the font to Wingdings. And then copy this down. And you'll see you'll get the cross or the tick depending on the status of the account. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.